This video is brought to you by X Insurance. <laughs> What happens when you throw 18,000 people, 735 exhibitors, and 57 helicopters into a million plus square feet of space? Heli Expo 2015 in Orlando, Florida, the largest helicopter exposition in the world produced by the Helicopter Association International. It's a time when the helicopter industry comes together. It's a time for education. It's a time for doing business. Since helicopters are the focal point of the event, the HAI staff, manufacturers, and operators spend considerable time figuring out how to get all the helicopters to the convention center and onto the show floor without getting anything broken or anyone hurt. With safety being top priority, the two keys to a successful fly-in and fly-out are planning and communications. Months in advance, HAI staff will evaluate aircraft staging areas, potential landing zones, and will be communicating with local officials in the lead-up to the event. It's when showtime comes that HAI staff and the pilots must come together as a team and all get on the same game plan. Traditionally, there is only a two-day window along with a third backup weather day to get all aircraft in and onto the show floor. The first phase of the process is getting all the aircraft into Orlando and based at the predetermined airport staging area. This year was Orlando Executive Airport. Phase two, and perhaps the most important, is the pilot briefing. There are two pilot briefings and it's mandatory that each pilot who will be flying in or out of the convention center must attend the briefing. Once briefed and the pilots have repositioned back to the staging airport, aircraft are released by HAI staff one at a time to head back toward the convention LZ. Aircraft landing in the LZ must be in direct radio contact with the LZ coordinator and must make their approach and land in the exact spot as directed by an assigned marshaller. Ideally, there can be two aircraft in the LZ at any time. This way, while one crew is installing wheels and preparing to roll out of the LZ and into the building, another can be landing in another spot. Getting from the airport along a defined route and landing the helicopter on the ground in the LZ is only done with positive communications between HAI staff and pilots from liftoff to touchdown. But that's only half the battle. Getting the aircraft into the convention center, which is basically a three-dimensional labyrinth of obstacles, is another chore in itself. It takes an entire team to slowly tow every aircraft onto the show floor to its designated spot. With obstacles at every turn and construction personnel whizzing all around, there's probably as much a chance of damaging an aircraft as any during this phase of the operation. Generally speaking, getting the larger aircraft into the show hall first is the priority. The main reason for this is because many of the vendors along the route of the helicopter cannot build their displays until the aircraft is moved to its spot. So not getting aircraft onto the floor in a timely manner may have a negative impact on other vendors as well. All in all, it's a massive race against time. This year, day one of the fly-in went off without a hitch and half the aircraft made it in as scheduled. On day two, however, the weather set in and the ceilings and visibility hovered around 502 most all day. But in the last couple of daylight hours on day two, the weather came up enough to safely begin launching aircraft in the direction of the convention center. During the fly-in and the fly-out, another risk factor that must be managed in and around the LZ are the swarms of people. Since helicopters are dynamic and interesting, media and onlookers swarm the place like ants in an effort to get a glimpse of the action. With a small army of safety personnel staged around the LZ, the HAI staff is able to manage the crowd and during both the fly-in and fly-out, the media, onlookers, and enthusiasts get to enjoy the bonus show outside the show itself. Heli Expo 2016 is in the month of March and will be in Louisville, Kentucky. So until then, fly safe and be safe.